Hello YouTube and welcome back to part 5 of our tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and actually go ahead and create our first body part of our skyline. So as you can see from this picture we're looking at an R34 uh, skyline v-spec edition and if, if you notice the only real difference between a v-spec and the normal R34 skyline is the fact that um, the v-spec has like this little triangle right over here this little triangle looking piece with, with like a little vent mesh inside of it now I've seen what the actual vent mesh looks like and I'll be able to help you guys model that once we actually get inside our software and we begin on this I do want to make a note and say though that if you are following me on this tutorial like feel free to <coughs> to take the, the techniques that I show you and make something like this if you personally feel like that's the direction that you want to go with your model or even something like like this uh, hood right over here. You know, oftentimes when I make my cars in, in 3ds Max, I'll go with like some type of custom design, especially working with um, with some type of like tuner vehicle, for example, where it would almost like look proper if it was modified within the body somehow. Now, this is a great shot of an R34 V-Spec right over here so right over here we actually have a great shot of what this triangle is supposed to look like um, and really it's not even like really a mesh over there I don't think I, it, it looks more like just a kind of, kind of like a flat area and then this back part right over here looks like it has like a little slit where some air could slide through. I don't know why Nissan put that there, possibly for aerodynamic reasons or what, but um, it is there, and it is something that we, we could model. So I'm going to go ahead and model that because I want to give you guys the actual R34 V-Spec if you're following along with this tutorial. So in the last one, we were making this uh, this rough cage over here, and pretty much, I just wanted to say like don't feel like too bad if you weren't able to follow along completely all the way and move every last vertice, because we're actually going to be manipulating all of these in the next few videos when we're actually creating our body parts, anyways. So like like I said, don't feel too bad if if you can follow along. If if you got something roughly close to this, that's fine too. Um. Another thing that would be good to talk about at this point is I made this tutorial for people who were looking to really get a like photorealistic visualization. So if you're like in a film and movie industry, um, this would be like great. If you're in the video game industry, um, you might want to look at how to make a low. It's it's called a low polygon resolution model. Um, and there, there's actually a special technique when you're creating cars for for video games because you you can't have something extremely dense in these polygons just because <clears throat> um, you, you, you have to keep in mind that the more intensive that this is as far as just raw polygons go the more strain that you're going to be putting on your hardware as well so like keeping that in mind I just wanted to let you guys know that this specific tutorial is going to be for a photorealistic visualization purpose and with that all being said, let's go ahead and start working on this hood. So the first step that you need to take is get into the top view, press M to bring up the material editor, double click on that standard and just lower that to 50%. <coughs> now we're going to hit the vertex selection and we're going to get ready to isolate what is going to become our hood. So just go ahead and line up these vertices with this line over here. Okay. And th this one over here already looks like it's pretty, pretty lined up right there. So you want to get that line right here, right above the fender. And there's three over here, so you don't get confused. There's one for your 
for your wheel well, and then there's like one crease where your fender kind of bends in, and then there, the ending of the hood is the third one right over here. So just go ahead and drag that over. If you did decide to just kind of like watch this tutorial for the for the technique because you want to make a uh, a custom hood, that's fine as well. But just keep in mind that when you are making a, a custom hood, I guess the best piece of advice I can give you is like just follow all your like lines and make sure that they all make like either a nice curve or a nice straight line. I often find in modeling that it's 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 honestly better to just like leave a line straight. Um, versus like playing with too many vertices because that's when you start to get into like complications looking at the mesh and you'll see like little pinches inside of what you're making that are hard to correct later on when you have lots of geometry. So we're looking okay for now. We're gonna go ahead and bring these two vertices all the way back to the top of the headlight. This one's going to go to the side corner, right over there. And go ahead and bring that up. And bring that right over there, sitting on this line. I'm just making sure all of our vertices are zeroed out. Okay, so we just adjusted those in the, uh, in the front view. Now let's go ahead and go in our side view. And just kind of get our shape where we want it. So go ahead and put that right there. And bring this up right over here. And go ahead and bring these two vertices down just a little bit. just so that they're kind of sitting on that line. And the one thing that I like about this blueprint is that the lines are like nice and noticeable as well. So you really want to put these two over here. Hmm, where do we want to put these? You can keep them right there for now. I'm just honestly getting ready to cut our just getting ready to actually detach our hood and mesh and just making sure that our vertexes are lined up roughly correct right now. So go ahead and while I take a look at this That's the corner of the hood right there, and perfect. That's right about lined up. <coughs> okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab these six faces, and then you're going to hold down the shift key and then drag it along the x-axis just a little bit right and then let go of it you're going to hit clone to object and for the name you can just put hood so go ahead and delete the, vertice, the faces that we just created unclick the polygon tool and then click on this little piece right here now that we have this hood created I want to go ahead and take our actual mesh so like this big body that we just created earlier and just go ahead and click on hide selection so that this way now we can go ahead and accurately go in and begin modeling our hood from a rough plane essentially from what it is right now to a finished product so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to apply a symmetry modifier. And we're just going to kind of put this on early so we can take a look at our model as we go along. Uncheck slice along mirror and under mirror you're going to go ahead and move that to zero. Again, we're seeing a disturbance in the middle of this because 
our vertices are not zeroed out. They're at 3.526. So once again, individually grab each vertice and move it to zero. From our last tutorial, I was, show, I was, I was telling you guys that you, you really don't want to grab you really don't want to grab um, more than two or three vertices at one time and then move them to zero just because if you do you're, you're, you're honestly going to get an effect like this so that one's at 3.526 and that one's at zero right and you can see actually how that's creating a, a curve so if I went click on both of these and I hit zero it's going to move them in the fashion that they're already in so that's why it's important to individually grab each piece and just move it over. I'm sorry, that keeps on coming up. So we're about to start going in, and I'm starting to align the vertices now in the front viewport. Grab these three and just kind of slide them down a little bit to even up that that rise that was going on from the middle of our hood. Because if this is too high, it's going to look odd when it's when it says a symmetry. You see that big protruding line down the center? That's very noticeable, and we don't want that. You want a nice smooth transition from half your hood to the other half, which is why. Um, I like to really just be, be light with the curvature. Okay, that looks much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin marking the hood. We're going to create this little pocket that runs through the hood right now. So go ahead and move this X vertice all the way over to the side. And then go ahead and bring this one all the way right about there. There, I'm sorry. This right here is actually where the hood ends. So you're going to want to move that just a little bit. Now, as I said before, this is this is where we see that bl uh, blueprints are not always necessarily a thousand percent correct, because you'll see that when when we move these two vertices in our front view to where they line up, now you see in our actual top view, they're not like they're they're not aligned on that line that we had it on previously. So the best thing to do in this type of scenario, and you will run across this often if you model cars, humans, weapons, it's it's just a common thing that you have to learn to deal with when modeling um, in you know just j just in general so a great technique that I like to use is to just kind of find like that halfway point to where they don't line up so go ahead and bring that over just a little bit and then bring that back like right there I would say is probably good Now, this is that line that we were making for the dip. Again, as you can see in our top view, it does not it does not like how we how we adjusted that.
So what we're going to do again is just kind of find like that halfway medium point, which I think would be like right about here. Grab these four verts. Just bring those right up. I'm sorry. Grab these two verts and bring those right up. Along with this. And these can actually come up a little bit more. Grab your edge selection tool, click on ring, go down to connect, take that vertice, lift it straight up, and then you're going to take this one right over here, and you're going to move that up to that dip that we're making, and we're, and we're just trying, try, trying to get that, that nice line going down. It's very key to pay attention to how straight your lines are in this stage because when I was making um when I was making our rough body for you guys in our last video I, I was not going accurate at all with this because this is really just a layout so we can begin to have some mesh to begin working with now that we're actually working on our hood for example we really want to make sure that everything that we do to this point is precise because um we're we're going for for accuracy now so you're going to go ahead and hit ring connect one more time and bring that straight up once again line this all right right about there I've noticed that like when you have a line that's like this and then you um, and then you switch it over so that it's actually like flat straight in the top view it just seems like it makes the mesh come out cleaner in the end so that's why I was kind of doing that Once again, grab this vert all the way at the edge of the hood and go ahead and make that. Okay, ring, connect, grab this vertex at the top of the hood and bring that right up. Put these two together and just kind of just do it like that. So now we have a pretty good amount of geometry made, um, so we're going to keep on working on this line now. Okay. And what you're going to do is, you're going to go to cut. We're going to start right there, we're going to end very close to the second one, but not, not uh, at the second one.
pointing to our side view, let's begin adjusting that second line that we just made. Just go ahead and bring that in a little bit. Bring that in a lot, actually. Right about there. And we have like that nice, that nice come out right there. And now that we have that, the next thing that I want to do is to go ahead and pull out the Mesh Smooth modifier. I'm sorry, go ahead and take off that mirror. I click on that on accident, click on Mesh Smooth, and put that at 1. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this with 100% opacity. So you're going to notice that we, we got kind of what seems to be the hood so far, but what we're missing is the fact that this line over here, compared to the actual hood, we, we're not getting that sharpness with our software, but we're going to need that to, to get accurate to the skyline hood right here. So what you can do is you can go ahead and grab this, and to create that sharpness, take Edge, go ahead and click on Loop, and click chamfer and you could lower that to like 0.75 now we're we're getting that proper um, realistic looking dip that we had inside of our picture so next thing that you want to do bring that up to two iterations and now you can see the line is like way more crispy now one thing that you're going to notice with our hood is the fact that like coming down this that looks very flat that looks very flat and there should there should at least be like a little bit of curvature right there and right there to kind of go up to make our hood look more um just to kind of make it look like it's more realistic so what you can do with that is take this, 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 these, just very, very slightly raise. So just like that is much better. As a matter of fact, you're going to want to bring these up more. There we go. That's a little bit better. Just a little bit. It could still be... I don't know. It could still be a little bit more refined. This bottom one, go ahead and make that like a straight line. Okay, so now as you can see, our hood is created, and we're not we're not getting that that middle um, that middle line effect with this, and that looks like a much cleaner mesh than what we were looking at before because. The reason why we were getting that sharp line running right down the center of our symmetry was because um, these this new row of vertexes that we created right over here to kind of give our hood a little bit more depth. Um, if you had noticed before, the, the the vertices were kind of like slopping down like that. So when you have something like that, 
then you're going to get that effect right there of like that line coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z to undo that. But I just wanted to, to, to show you guys why we, we were getting that. Um, now another thing you're going to want to do is to go ahead and take this vertex and just slide that up a little bit. Even out our mesh. You want to have a pretty even amount of space between these. Continue to adjust that. Bring that up just a little bit. Okay, that looks good. So now that we have this, the one thing to realize is that like a, a true hood in real life has has depth to it. This is a very flat picture of a hood that we just created. So. Uh, what you want to go ahead and do next is you want to click on editable poly, go into edge, selection, click on loop, click on loop, go to the back edge and click on loop, hold down the shift key and bring that down on your Z axis, just very slightly like right there, is good. Now one thing that you're going to notice when, when we have that, and, and I let that go, is the fact that we're getting these really rounded edges, which could be okay for some cases, but um, we're actually aiming to go for something that's more sharp. So like that's a sharp edge, right? We, we can leave that soft, but that's a sharp edge, that and that's a sharp edge right there. So just go ahead and click on that. Click on this, I'm sorry. Click on this edge. And that, oh my God. <laughs> Click on these two edges. And this, hit loop. Click on that, hit loop. Click on that, and hit loop. Make sure they're all selected. And go ahead and hit chamfer. And once again, we're going to want to go uh, a little bit smaller than that. So now, as you can see, we have a properly, um, a proper point right there. And that's actually like, one thing that I do want to say, I want to I want to go back and go ahead and, and redo that chamfer because that that edge is not as sharp as we as we need it to be. So when in, in the chamfer settings, what you want to do is take this point six seven and bring that down to like point two. Ah, much better. So again, not not absolutely perfect, but still a, a very good re refined point, and I'm actually ex acceptable with that. You can go down lower on your chamfer settings if you want, but I think I'll leave mine here for the purpose of this tutorial. But I'm not gonna lie to you, like if I was actually gonna use this to to make for like a, a customer or a client, or I was making it for like a film or television, I probably would go back in. And I, yeah, I. I probably would go in and try to get that just a little bit sharper, so I'm going to do that. So underneath the chamfer settings, just bring that way down. Uh, you can even do point oh oh five if you want. That right there is much better.
So that's our completed hood. And once again, still needs some work done to it. Um, a little bit of fine tweaks left before we have to before we're, we're, we're done with this. As you can see, our line in the side view is not lined up as well as it should be. Just going to go ahead and let that kind of sit right there. Lift that up. Hit control. Grab this entire row. And just kind of bring that right there. No, I'm pretty satisfied with that hood that we just created. So I'm going to go ahead and end this tutorial now. And in the next video, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to just create that little triangle piece that sits on the V-Spec model of the Skyline. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and you could possibly use this technique to start creating cars on your own and creating good, accurate body panel parts. So with that being said, Subscribe to my videos and hope you guys have a nice day.